All right, we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. My name is DJ Wells. I'm your host to my left, resident chef, B. Hen. How you what, my boy? Cool and nasty. We're shaking. Chilling, you know what I'm saying? You see you got the black forces on with the white laces. That's the, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's the energy you bring? Yes, I mean business. Yeah. That's that. <laughs> His energy been crazy today. I'm, yeah. a, I'm the real Air Force King, goddamn it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you look like you might help somebody out and rob a nigga at the same time. <laughs> nah, I never rob a nigga. Not, never, never. I love everybody. Oh, okay. Shout out to Black History Month. I see the love going on. Last but not least, to my right, Young Nacho. <laughs> young Tig, how you up, my boy? I'm chilling, bro. I see I see the footwork today, you know what I'm saying? Nah, these is light, man. They was by the door. I'll, I'll talk about it. <laughs> they was by the door. What a dick. <laughs> they was by the door. No. They was. They literally was by the door when y'all walked in. I was like, yeah. New mail packages. We appreciate it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is the time. Hey, sponsors, this is where you can put your shit right here. You see this lovely laptop. We can put your sticker right here. See this lovely table in front of us, too. You can have all this for a wonderful fee that we could talk about at a later date. But before we get into today's episode, I got a question for y'all. Uh, we seen a lot of petty shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Valentine's Day just passed. And uh, we seen Shakira, you know what I'm saying? For y'all who don't know, Shakira, she had a nice little breakup with her ex. And she got up out that bitch, literally. She took her house off the land and left him with the land. I know, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all temper me, you know what I'm saying? Y'all my dogs. I know y'all a little bit petty, but could y'all be that petty into moving something like that? Like moving a house? Yeah, I'm that petty. Uh, <laughs> Not really. I don't know if I'm that petty. I done done some petty stuff in my life, but. Explain. <laughs> Give us a story. Like, the grimiest or pettiest thing I ever did, I bought some. No, somebody told me about something that was really nice, a gift mm. that I should get for them. And I bought it yeah. and gave it to somebody else. Wow. Tell us more. Oh, you got more stories? Uh, I'm yeah, sure you feel with petty. them. Yeah, I'm I'm a petty <laughs> nigga. Because uh, people be fucking with me. They play around with me. I like to play too. Shit. So you gave another motherfucker a gift. Basically, you gave somebody a gift that wasn't for them, really. It was for somebody else initially, right? Yeah, they like, oh, this shit's so hard. I want this and then. Uh, Damn, you're I, right. It is fine. Yeah, it is so fine. Would it, right. All right, I got one. So would it be wrong? So say you with a girl, y'all get engaged. She Damn. gave the ring back. Can you give it to your next one? Nah, I ain't that grimy. You can remix it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I get it redone. Put it on a different band. Yeah, I get a new band. I keep the diamond. Hey. Get a, get a new band. Okay. Shout out to Ben Simmons. Hey, send that ring back. I thought that that was crazy. They was just like he was out of pocket for asking for that engagement ring back. If we ain't getting married, what you need it for? Nah, bro, don't. You should don't give a gift and yeah, ask for it back. That's why. Hey, bro, bro didn't give the gift. I ain't get the gift, so he didn't go through that. But if you give a woman a gift, that's hers. No, it's not. Yes, it is, bro. <laughs> you got to stop being like that, DJ. You have to. I don't know if once you can you say give, this before, once you give givers, quote unquote, no disrespect to Kyrie people. But no, look, bro, you give a woman a gift that's hers, bro. Why the fuck is you asking for something back? Now you shouldn't have bought it. A million dollar ring, though. It's it. hers, bro. No, it's not. You want you want it back? You shouldn't have bought it. You goofy for buying a million dollar ring, though. There we go. <laughs> bro, <laughs> million dollars for a ring. Yeah, bro. there we go. That's what I'm saying. And I, divorce rate so high. Bro, mm. you playing with fire, so shout out to her. I hope she cashed that bitch in. Nah, she did the right thing. Yeah, I was damn near goofy for marrying my Oh, okay. Yeah, I was goofy <laughs> for buying my I love you, Pete, but <laughs> I mean, if you left me, I'd be hurt. <laughs> nah, you would be hurt, but you out of pocket for asking for the hell back. Nah, next I day. Damn near, I damn near want mine back, too. Fuck out of that. And I'm rocking yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah what's up? Nah, you putting on the pinky ring. I'm not. I'm not y'all nah, texting right. it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Leave how you can't. What juvenile say? <laughs> <laughs> Leave how you came. So y'all niggas are basically uh, y'all pieces of shit. Hey, look, if you pay for the BBL, you can have one of the two. So what about okay? All right, fuck the ring. You buy a girl a car. Yeah. Nah, I don't want the car. Is the car her name, or is it in my name? It's in, it's in her name. It's in your name. It don't matter. Are you still mad about buying her a car? And when y'all done, she leave with it. You can leave how you came. Because you so didn't come with this car. Absolutely. Nah, I ain't that. Nah, you got the whip, baby. So he got you beat with Petty. Yeah, he he's a yeah, that's crazy. I just want to understand that. DJ gonna take that Chanel purse back too. Ew. Ah, consignment. Wipe it down, put it on StockX. That's nasty. <laughs> you out of pocket, bro. Hey, we was talking about pastries last episode on on StockX. I can put the Chanel we back. We went from X. house to ring to goddamn the ring is like a million dollars. So worth. purse, this nigga's returning anything. So anything that the boy DJ has ever bought y'all, he really wanted it back. Subject. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Subject to approval. Damn, you ain't shit. What's nah, the, what's the pettiest thing you did? Yeah, don't be asking yeah, us, nigga. You, it's that you. Uh, I 
I mean, you know, it's always two versus one on this show. So I <laughs> get it. Y'all he's trying to stand with the women. Like, he doesn't stand yeah. with y'all. I do. He just no. has me ask the question. You know, and you know what? I'm out of pocket. Shout out to the queens. Good look at him. I have not said that in a while, and I'm sorry. I hope you had an amazing Valentine's Day. I hope they Whether did. it was with your nigga or somebody else's nigga. See? See? I stay hope with you enjoyed y'all. yourself. Shout out to everybody who got them Friday dates. So okay. I haven't I haven't did anything petty, for real, because I just genuinely don't give a fuck about a lot of shit. So if I give you a gift, bro, it's yours. I ain't doing nothing petty. I ain't doing nothing petty. I it, it ain't no smut on my name out here. But what if it if it don't end in good terms? You feel a way. Uh, it was their fault. <laughs> Our loss. Yeah, if it don't end on good terms, you had to do something out of pocket. But I'm solid though. I don't got no bad. Name Dog, there. for you to take a house off the foundations of yeah, land crazy. and move it, that is different level of you got me fucked up, bro. I ain't never seen a nigga transport a house besides like an A&E show just to prove a point. Yeah, well, you got bread like that, bro. That shit is that's whatever. Also, the yeah. money, can, can having money means you can be as petty as you want to is what you're saying. No, I'm not saying being as petty. I'm saying you're accessible. Mm. I mean, you're not you accessible. Crib, but though, you, like, you didn't want him to have nothing to happen in that house. No, like, but I'm saying you can... The nobody more you have the more petty you can become. Oh, that's a fuck. That's a yeah. fuck. So, yeah, her moving that crib, I'm going to fuck put that in her ear like, Baby girl, you really can get this house up off of here. <laughs> oh, I can? I'm not saying she dumb or nothing. She didn't know that herself, but I'm sure that's probably how that went. Defund the people who was always in somebody's ear. They be the ones who had the bullshit ideas that you didn't even think of. But see, that's why you always got to get cool with the friend, too. Speaking of just about relationships alone in general, when you said that, it made me think, like, because I think every girl got a fat friend that a nigga got to be cool See, with. See, he don't bribe with y'all. It do. All the plus, size, had, had. All the plus size girls got a fine ass friend. Do they not? I'm not. I don't, I don't know, know what not? you're talking I'm about. Not, I don't know. Oh, they are these niggas. See, I don't I look, at, I don't look at women's weight. Like I just you I call women big all the time. I never call women big. <laughs> oh, not on camera. And I never. Oh, call, like, oh, I never he shared a story. Big. He shared a story with y'all where he said purposely, "Be he can say anything." I told a girl, "You getting fat?" She go to him. Da da da. She storm out leaving. This nigga called bitches fat and all all kinds of shit. Was this, and they bro? Don't, this is on record. Oh, deleted episodes. Oh, right. I didn't, I didn't get no episodes. <laughs> now he want to play no, crazy. That ain't nobody you too. Now he want to play crazy. <laughs> play crazy. Well, Shout that's out that to the queen. All size queen. Don't pop but, up. Oh, thank God. Don't look for him either. <laughs> when he disrespects you, I'm here to hold you. Nah, he just called y'all fat and out of shape. That wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying every plus size girl has a, a cute friend. All right, name me, a, name me an Instagram girl with a fat friend. <laughs> Shout uh, out to the Monique's. Oh, see, I'm out. Never mind. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to do it. So say it again. It's somebody that we would know that got a fat. Oh, that we would know. No, I was yeah. going to go with a celebrity. No, I'm saying like that. Yeah, like oh yeah, like Lizzo and uh, what's Quavo old girl name? They cool. <laughs> and Sweetie, are yeah. oh, they cool? Yeah, that's a nasty link up because Sweetie. Now that's a fire bullshit. combo because I feel like if you get in with motherfucker Lizzo, she <laughs> no. ain't ever gonna hate on you, bro. That's just how the word. How right, the world works, I ain't bro. rolling, but. Well, one can say the girls' friends that only get around with you are the ones that want to fuck you on the low, but that's a different conversation. Oh, wow. It nah, is. I don't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> Maybe for another podcast. My bad. <laughs> I'm fucking with it because he's right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I don't fuck with these niggas. But I, <laughs> talk but about he, it. He, he's right about that, though. Yeah, he is right. Yeah, that's, that's true. Women's Friends is a whole totally different podcast. We can go there. Yeah, we can move on. Though. So, was Shakira right for doing that? Yes or no? Y'all rolling with the pettiness? I fuck with it. I like the creativity. Uh, it's a lot of work. Yeah, I don't fault her for it. She went too hard for that house. That house better be fucking crazy. Nah, it better be heat. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what he did to her though. No, I said no. I said uh, I'm fucking with her. You fucking with her? All yeah, right. I'm fucking with her. Uh, sure. You know what, man? We gotta we gotta take some smut off some people's names this year. You know what I'm saying? This is a year of rebranding for a lot of people, including Club 520. Michael Jordan made the biggest donation by a person to the Make a Wish Foundation for the 10 million dollars. So can we finally retire the fuck them kids mean, or is this still still gonna stand forever? No, it's gonna stand forever. You said it, bro. I don't want it to end either. I was trying to help, but it's every time I see it, I know I want that to be true. I don't care if he ever tells me to my face that it's wrong. I'm gonna believe it's true. Yeah, that's I mean, my favorite thing about Mike. Just because he was an asshole, so it probably was true. I mean, that stands. Mike Ain't shit, niggas give money all the, all the time. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> that's I mean, that's Mike ain't say that. Mike ain't say fuck them kids. He was like fuck old boy kids. He ain't say <laughs> how. <laughs> Wait, who kids? He somebody he ain't like Scotty so Pippen. Oh man. <laughs> Well, he got it back in blood, apparently. <laughs> yeah. 
Shout out to the Joy Boys. That is a hell of a. I don't want to talk about it today, but Man, I that's just a thought sick about ass it. reunion. That's all I'm gonna say. Niggas at the Damn. picnic wilding when they. But do y'all up. really fault? Like, not to be in my man business, but she all right, <laughs> bro. Like she cool. Like oh, I ain't, it ain't about her just being cool, bad, weak. It's the fact that that's going on, bro. And niggas just be the timing of that. Is crazy. <laughs> the timing is impeccable. <laughs> but look, <laughs> like, the Valentine's they post, I said, all right, now. Yeah, niggas like, gotta relax. Son, bro. get her. That's, that's you a, think that's how the play went? Like, Mike said the play? <laughs> no. Nah. Pippin been hating. <laughs> yeah. We see I'm the last day. Jordan is chilling. I got a young bull that's thirsty. <laughs> My favorite son, <laughs> go strike her. <laughs> Boy, he's, bro, he's walking out. down Rodeo holding her hand, bro. Oh, what's up? They fucking with each other. Reese, yeah. you see this podcast and you get older. We ain't even <laughs> got to talk about it. Understand the assignment. <laughs> yeah. Hold it set down. Yeah, that's a cool little hit, bro. Bro, <laughs> I'm just nothing, bro. You cracking your auntie is crazy, bro. That's not. <laughs> nah, Look. She only like 48, 49. Yeah, so he, that's like, not my auntie, <laughs> DJ. Here you Stop. go. Fake family. I hate fake family. <laughs> Crack a We're not related. They not related. And you was hating on my daddy, nigga. That's, that's crazy. That may, that's why I, I could know it, bro. I, I, I mess with it because it's like, man, this Jordan name a little different, bro. We carry a little different weight. Yeah, yeah I pipe down a little bit. And your ex is ready and willing. What? Damn, Larson got all the, all the trophy room ones back door because of her. Yeah. <laughs> that's that, tough. That was Jordan and Future sicker. Ooh, my nigga Future set the pick. <laughs> man, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> he made the vision. <laughs> right <Yes>. the vision. <laughs> Make it play. Free calls is about love. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pippa's mama. Freak dude. auntie. And that's crazy, bro. That's like that Malik BC and little Pippa's. That's like, hey, man, we can't play on the same team, bro. Like, that's too much. I Damn. don't care if this is Oh, this is, shit. Yeah, they do the what? That was like Big Bro, though, probably 20 miles. Big Bro. <laughs> Oh fuck! That's like all the niggas who mob was the niggas that was hitting the call. Number. Your uncle? That's not your uncle. <laughs> you ain't never seen that nigga in the family. That's big bro now, like he probably like big bro. He probably like hoop with him and shit. Oh, I'm nothing. Hey, bro, That's let's what go hoop. I'm saying Scotty Pippen. I all, uh, love violating Scotty Pippen, bro. <laughs> no, I don't want him on the show. No, no, so I don't care. Scotty Pippen Jr. has to deal with that, bro. That's, That's tough. bullshit. That ain't Scotty Pippen fault, though. Yeah, it is, bro. Your daddy was a gum. That's his mama fault, bro. Oh, bro, I blame Pippen. You can't blame Scotty for what she doing. I blame Pippen for having her caught up in that house, nigga. All them years, not letting her be the woman she wanted to be. And, nigga, these are the consequences. See, she's out of pocket, too. I'm not giving her no bail. I'm just telling y'all. It's still she out of him. pocket, though? Yeah, because fuck him. Because when I said it about making good, it was all bad. But now <laughs> yeah. she was tied up in the house cause of because of Scotty. Because you call her, you basically call her a video vixen just because she wanted to kick it with the Lord for a few years. And that was trash. No, you can, bro, you can still be a Christian and go kick it. I'm saying what making good You can good still did. be a Christian and get it cracking. So no, what's up? Right, but I'm saying what making good did. You can't compare that to what Larson Pippa is doing. That's crazy. I'm what not is comparing she doing? That? Though. What is she really doing? Living her best life. Well, who's doing? Larsa Pippen. She's dating. Women are allowed to All date, right, bro. <laughs> All All right, y'all, y'all want to? <laughs> y'all want to play crazy? Like, no, nigga, that's human nature, bro. If my mom is fucking getting torched by fucking. <laughs> My, my two guards, my uncle, as y'all say, these fake ass family members. My Michael George, my uncle. Big so, buddy up. is my fucking cousin. If is that how the fake? No, I'm works? saying like, <laughs> so a nigga that I basically only a couple years younger than is cracking my mom, and I grew up with him. <laughs> you yeah, ain't bro. grow up with him. Yeah, that ain't gang, nigga. Bro, hey, I, I got to grow up, bro. I got a question then. What's worse? <laughs> Her fucking with Malik Beasley or her fucking with Jordan's son? Because that's kind of, it's wild on both sides. No, it's not. It's Malik, Uncle's son and this, bro, and this Malik fake Malik Beasley is random compared to Michael Jordan's son, bro. I agree. That's crazy. That's close to the crib. And if Mike, if Scottie Pippen wasn't a hater, Jordan wouldn't have sent that hit out. <laughs> you would have been safe. <laughs> to make a wish for Scotty. <laughs> That's what team made with him, bro. That's a, y'all are crazy, bro. Y'all. She'll be getting hit by BJ Armstrong. Like That's my son. <laughs> Shout out to BJ, great agent. <laughs> I just feel like they should be able to do anything. Like <laughs> he's really not for the Queens, but go ahead. Nah, speak, she, speak your truth, Ken. bro. Like thirty-five. <laughs> uh, Lil Jordan, yeah. No, oh, bro, Jeffrey, 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 my age. It's your age. The other one is younger. Yeah, so he probably thirty-two. All right, thirty-two. <laughs> you still cuss. 
According nah, to y'all, Scotty Pippen's son probably twenty one. <laughs> but you still cuz though. We ain't cuz. I ain't even know little homie. They was together. Pops was bro. in when I started finding out about Larsa. Pop was playing for the Wizards. Like how? <laughs> nah, bro. That nigga just, was in DC yeah, already. Was in, yeah, but y'all still know each other? I ain't even knowing. Nah, bro. I'm nothing on you. You see him together in the last dance. Bro, I was when I was you twenty. Bro, was know. twelve. Bro, like, you don't bro. know how close their family was. How that uh, dynamic work with them, bro. It wasn't that close, bro. Damn. Well, they close now. They tied in. <laughs> shout out to the Jordan family. Yeah. Shout out to hey, shout out to Jordan Brand. Black entrepreneurs. We love to see it. Um, which I think about Pharrell in that Louis situation. Like, I know a lot of people was just like, who is gonna take over after Virgil? And they seen a lot of people thought it possibly would have been Kanye, but obviously, um, you know, that was gonna take a hard left seeing what he was going on. I fuck with Pharrell doing that though, because I think like outside of Kanye, Pharrell's one of them niggas was like fresh as fuck up there that like we wouldn't be too upset about. I don't know what took him so long, but also that should be taking forever anyway. Pharrell is taking Virgil's place. Yeah, he's the creative director of Louis Vuitton. Yeah, that's fire. He deserves it. Yeah, he's made heat for forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I ain't yeah. really a fan of him. Yo, fuck with P? What? Nah. Damn, for real? Come on, man. I don't really like his style. I mean, he, a, he cool. He ain't more than my style. Damn, I'm surprised by that. <laughs> I only think about for real, boy. <laughs> oh my god! That second run of Adidas was not him, boy. That's what I'm saying. I ain't really like his style. I like yeah. it. the human races and shit was fire, but like, hey, that's one of the underrated shoes, and like, cause that really changed. That had a little moment, but after that, that second version, yeah, well, like, I, I can't see for real making no fire off white fours and shit like that. I just he would probably put a fucking spaceship on the side of the motherfuckers or something. I'm not fucking with that. Damn. I like what he had the cream shit. What was it called? Ice creams. Y'all ain't fuck with them. Nothing. Damn. Bro. You fuck with the ice cream, <laughs> bro. That shit was nice, bro. I, I mean, mean hey, this I billion like dollar that. boys club is. Yeah, but it's not the same people who make Rockwell make BBC and stuff now. That's why you see the price difference now. Like I'm BBC is way part, more expensive. He was a part of it. I mean, yeah. I mean, he was a part of the reason why I he made, got niggas rocking that shit. Yeah, for sure. He was influential for sure. Like a lot of people yeah. look at him at that, but it, I can't compare him to Kanye. I don't like when people do that. I feel like nah. it's tears to me. I think that Pharrell's definitely below that tier when it comes to Kanye, as far as on some on some yeah. saucy shit. But Pharrell yeah. is a fashion icon for sure. I mean, he's done a lot of different things. You did not want to dress like Pharrell, bro. Oh shit, the baby era was something. I for had, sure, I had a BBC shirt, bro. Because you might have a shirt, you ain't want to dress like him. No, no I didn't, because I had my own swag. But I'm saying, bro, you didn't want to dress like Fifty Cent, but you wore the beaters. Oh, my mama <laughs> <ain't> had no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a straight top. Fifty you? Nah, I did not have a fifty beater. I mean, you warmed up in the beater, the G in the beater, <laughs> but Man, you didn't want to be I like. I would have though. Fifty Cent one, I wear that motherfucker now. Yeah. But I'm saying you didn't want to wear Branson. It. Yeah, send that yeah. fifty. You I don't want to be like them niggas, bro. No, nah, I did. I wanted to be like Lil Wayne. I wanted to be like Cameron and them. Yeah. Niggas had purple and pink because of Cam. Yeah, I wanted to be like So Cameron dressed better than Pharrell? Ooh. Yeah. Fuck no, Growing nigga. Growing up, yeah, I did. You're yeah. crazy. That's, yeah, that's a, your personal choice. But yeah, it would be realistic. But when I, looked in the I like mirror, Carmelo better than LeBron, but I'm not going to say Carmelo better than LeBron. That's crazy. You saying Cameron dressed better than Pharrell? The swag. The saying. swag was crazy, bro. Like, I'm not agreeing. It was cooler. Man, I wasn't wearing. I didn't want to be like for real. For real was, you know. Yeah, he was wearing tight shit and. Yeah, bro, shit but I'm wasn't saying he was ahead time. of his time, bro. If you look back, all camera outfits was weak as fuck. I wait, but we're not gonna do that. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Cam, him, Cam dressed way better as an older man than he did way back then, bro. Back Cam then dressed like fly, all the bro. shit that we wanted at that time period. Them big ass jackets and the fucking throwbacks and the but forces. I'm, what I'm fire. saying is, Heat. for real, shit aged well, nigga. If a nigga had on a BBC shirt and some tight pants, nigga, and some cool ass shoes, bro, you're still in tune with the times right now. Oh, I can't for you sure. You wear that sh- cam shit outside right now, motherfucker. Going, he must be going to a party. <laughs> hey, Gotta be a throwback party. <laughs> We're going to tea birthday party. Hey, hey yeah, hi. I get that, that's bro. what I'm saying. Like, I respect your opinion, bro. But I'm I just like, that, but at the time, I I ain't want to dress like for real, and I still don't want to dress like for real. <laughs> hey, we got to respect the diplomats too. They changed the era. Yeah, they had three years of influence on clothing, bro. That's that, a fuck. And that wasn't just a bomb shit. All y'all was wearing iron on shit on y'all shirts. I ain't yeah. hating. And y'all was wearing I pink. Fold Cam heavy. The pink tall tees was at champs going crazy. Yeah, with because the color on them. Cam purple. G Buck had one. It shit touched his ankles. Damn. Damn. I don't want mommy. To. <laughs> <laughs> he wore that motherfucker at tech. That motherfucker. He said, scrape his tennis shoe. Let me pick your shirt up off the ground. Who was harder, Diplomats or 3 6 Mafia? Man. Dipset. Dipset. 
I mean, three six really had better songs. But yes, I'm rolling with three six. Yeah, but you ain't never look at three six and say I wouldn't be like them niggas. Look at Dipset like I'm fucking with them niggas. Yeah, yeah. I ain't want to. Yeah, do on, drugs. The, on the basis of the swag, but I just you know we just, we just touched on groups diplomats. You said they changed the era. Three six ran shit. They did, but also you never looked at DJ Paul like damn. I want to dress like this nigga. Nah, bro, nigga, he can wear regular clothes with All that right, fucking. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. See, hey, you trying to say I wanted? To, I didn't never want to dress done, nigga. Why nigga he couldn't wear regular clothes? Because, bro, he had an extra large left sleeve and a small right sleeve, bro. So I could never get a shirt like him. Man, what is wrong with this he dude? Was the bro. With a taper tall tee. <laughs> hey, yeah, y'all are out of pocket, bro. Man, shout out to DJ Paul, man. No, nah, shout out to DJ Paul. I'm just saying I never could really fit the swag because I didn't have that. You know, <laughs> you didn't have see. what that what? I didn't have his swag. <laughs> Tell us more about his swag. Yeah, I'm Come just on, saying. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, saying his clothes were just custom, bro. I just I didn't have no money for that. <laughs> I keep laughing because y'all ignorant as fuck. But uh, I'm just saying this is what this podcast is about. <laughs> it's yeah. pure ignorance. Oh. All right, so you had a question, you know what I'm saying, on some Dap Town shit. We was talking about local anthems, about one of the hardest songs that's come out of the city. What y'all feeling with, you know what I'm saying? We had some time to reflect. You, you want to stand on yours first? You, you know what I'm saying? You got something in your heart that you, you want to go? go? shit. Nah, you go first because you shouted out a song I couldn't, I ain't remember like that. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I'm rolling with uh, the original Nap Town Riders. <laughs> Who the best riders? Yeah, man. That's yeah, back when I wanted with... to be a skater. Damn. Man, shit, I ain't rolling with that shit. Uh, Talk about StarQuest. I'm rolling with. Yeah. I got two. You got two. I got turn them lights off, take them panties off, <laughs> take them off, whatever that song. Shout out to Bill. That shit was hard. And then Lil E, Punisher. That shit. Yeah. yeah. I fuck with that too. That Nappyville take them off is definitely historic R and B song. Yeah. But that Debo Rain, well. that Debo Rain is high up, for me, up there for me too. No, that's a fire song. I would have went with Maxi, but that Debo Rain, I've just heard of situations Maxie. and it just went crazy. But Maxi definitely deserves some notion of this. He got two slappers in the city Swole too. Swole too. Ah, hey, Swole, talk about Ice it. Cold, I fuck with that. Swole still hard to this day. I still bump Swole. Yeah, you do. Shout out to Swole. You fuck yeah. with him on the social media stuff. That's hard. I definitely. Uh uh see so I like Debo other songs better than I like Rain though. Yeah. Like I like Jail Talk. I like oh he got shit that's hard. Shout out to Debo. Yeah, yeah, he I got like, some shit for sure. Yeah, I mean rain hard, but I like jail talking all the other shit a little better. You know what I'm saying? Open it up for our, you know what I'm saying, abroad listeners. What's the hardest song you ever heard in the club? Like that first time you was in the club, you heard it and just everything went crazy. Like niggas be like it's a movie now. Nah, it was like really a movie type shit. Uh, BMF Rick Ross. I swear to Woo! God, the first time I ever heard that, bro, he performed it and the club went. Crazy. Where was you at? Uh, Velvet Room mm. in Atlanta. Man, what? I can fuck with that. I'm going with Jeezy Way Too Gone. Damn. Yeah, heard that in the concert. It changed my life. <laughs> that song hard. Did it get to the future verse? No, it didn't make it. That's the crazy part about that song. Yeah. Every time I've heard that song, it never gets to the future it didn't verse. Make it. Nah, but it, it always stuff like that. It don't gotta get there. It don't it's gotta get already there, gone. That beginning, and then you got that first verse, and then him going. Nah, I take that back. That BMF was hard. But the first time I heard <laughs> "Set It Off," <laughs> the Boosie. by Boosie, <laughs> what? Yeah, that shit went crazy. That's so, a classic. Man, I, I love that song too. Man, I'll tell you this, man. Back in the Sunset Days, the first time I was in there and I heard that Yo Gotti fuck you changed my life. That whole night, fuck you, bro. They ran that bitch back three or four times in oh, the strip club. Man. That yeah, song rang the I fuck. Left. <laughs> You're not fucking. No, I hate that song, bro. That's one of the weakest songs Gotti got, bro. Thanks, bro. Hey, fuck that, you, bro. change your life, DJ. Bro, that night in Sunset was crazy. Off that song alone, I don't know what it was. But motherfuckers got activated with that. Damn. Elite performances. That's at the I bottom of this list. Fucking do rock a little bit, but I ain't never liked that song like that. that. Changed my life. Hey. Man. Damn, that's great. That's your shit, though. I can't yeah, take yeah, you away from me. I mean, that moment probably was. Yeah, it was a little different. You know, it's so like, great. We was in Sunset. Take it where you at. DJ but was motherfucking letting them girls. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, you about to put some on my neck. Put their ass all in his face. Throw them wet ones everywhere. Hey, shout out to the chicken wings. Damn, it, it was Sunset had all the girls with the with their feet over their heels. 
<laughs> Let's keep it real. Some said chicken wings kind of salty. Oh, I mean, that, uh, depending on who back there. Yeah, whoever back there the last time I went, they were salty. Well, I mean, who staffing back there is just really, you know, what I'm saying I don't, I don't think they on the D getting cooks. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it, it depends though, bro. I always, well, I don't know, man. It just depends on really how drunk I was for real. Because I only pulled up on some wild nights, but I yeah. have had a bad batch. For yeah, sure. I, I got a question for y'all. Salty. What's better, baby shower food or strip club chicken wings? I don't know, bro. It's a that's I will always say strip club um, chicken wings just for the simple fact you never know what you're gonna get at a baby shower. Yeah, yeah. I don't like meatballs either. So, oh damn, see that's the best. That's the top tier. At the, yeah, at the, I don't like meatballs. Damn, damn meatballs. That's how you know it. If baby shower food too good, you know they ain't staying together. Yeah, motherfuckers have us cook for their baby shower too. I ain't never we made it a couple of times, but that that really don't be a go to. Now niggas be wanting soul food. They be trying to eat for real. Like baby showers that I be doing, they might be a little ghetto. But <laughs> might just make be, your clientele. Now they turn it they turn it into the clubs like damn near for real. Motherfuckers be having bottles where every time I pull up, nigga, they got the whole section. Now that's hard. No kids invited. Like Yeah, fuck them kids. <laughs> Even the situation. kids is about to be more. Yeah. Hey, that's hard, man. Cause we need to start making baby showers like in events like that more fun. I ain't know niggas was going that far as far as making a motherfucker the club. Yeah. But I ain't never mad at the time we get a full menu. Cause shit, motherfuckers are done with Rotel dip all the time. The black community is up that shit up. But also, all them parties we be seeing when niggas have all them catering foods and events, they don't be lasting. You be the first niggas in your timeline six months later with the re uh, the rebrand photo, that fresh <laughs> out photo <laughs> for sure. The Valentine said just passed. We gonna see it soon. That I ain't get a date until Friday night. Uh, you gonna see the rebrand selfie? They choosing they self. I oh, love every time I see the other time. I'm choosing my own self. No, he didn't choose you, bitch. <laughs> Enough of that. Shout out to the queens that had to choose themselves. That's unfortunate. Or that just chose themselves by choice. They probably had a better day though. Yeah. Or that shout Friday, out Friday. To- they probably double dipped though. Mm. Yeah. They got a date on Friday. And then they got a little Valentine. Yeah, they yeah, won. Or really. the girls that just go out with their friends and have a good time. And girls the dude pay for it because he couldn't be there. Perfect. Yeah. Shout out to the Kings. I see the finesse. Yeah, I'm yeah. with that. We got to break that stigma, man. It's okay to you know, be untraditional. It's different times now. It is. Yeah. You can't do too much, but <laughs> don't go too far with it. What's too far? Like not celebrating it at all, I guess. I Muslim now. I don't believe it. You got to. <laughs> nah, what is Jehovah Witnesses? They don't celebrate nothing. And we don't oh, celebrate yeah. nothing. Yeah, they don't celebrate nothing. Yeah, yeah, I'll be, damn, I'll be pissed at Carl. She was Jehovah Witness. <laughs> My next door neighbor on in, on Boulevard, I mean on Graceland, used to be a Jehovah Witness. I was like, damn, bro. You don't get no Christmas gifts? No. Yeah, well, my daddy used to sneak him a gift, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> he probably got his ass beat. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm like bro. You have to give up. Yeah, yeah but my thing was, soon. too, when my daddy used to tell him, like, <laughs> he used to tell his dad, like, bro, y'all poor and y'all don't celebrate holidays, bro. <laughs> Your kids already got to go through this shit <laughs> every day. Then you take the fucking Halloween, nigga. Man. He yelled at my dad, nigga, because he went Halloween. Shout out to my nigga, Kurt. That's my <laughs> dog. He ain't one of them uh, Jehovah Witness knocking on the door motherfuckers no more. But Dude, them yeah, them I look at their dress, they work at Crew Car Wash. I'm yeah. like, hey, man, y'all got to go with that shit. Yeah, I be telling you, I grew up with niggas that are from the mud, bro. Can you imagine that struggling on a... Double side like that, nigga. You not able to celebrate holidays, and you ain't got no bread. Yeah, you you looking forward to your birthday? No, you not getting shit. And they don't crazy. even acknowledge your birthday. That's crazy. Damn. Damn, I thought they did fuck with nah, the birthday. Nah, they nothing, birthday. dog. Okay, another day, another dollar. I remember yeah. one year, my mom tried that the whole. Oh, we're gonna do on uh, church on Halloween, nigga. No, where the hoodlums at? We bag snatcher. Damn. Everybody going to church on Halloween. Did you ever? Oh, yeah. Did you ever go to a church lock in? Absolutely. Halloween? Nah. On, on Halloween, Halloween, nah. It was on the weekend. Ah, oh, see, yeah. <laughs> maybe, the, maybe the devil was in my church. Yeah, I yeah, wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't going to church. <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly. Hey, well, I got. Oh, I, hey, I got a crazy ass story about going to church. Talk about it. So my mama go to. Hold church. on, hold on. Whatever he says, DJ is a part of that. The <laughs> fuck? <laughs> this is my testimony. Whatever, whatever he says. <laughs> Does not affect my brand or I have nothing to do with it. Proceed. Listen, my mom go to church all the time. She a church going person. Yeah. <laughs> she going Monday, Wednesday, Sunday. Woo. So when we was little, my dad got caught the Holy Spirit one day. <laughs> See, you laughing. <laughs> Coach T, they laughing at you, bro. <laughs> we go to church. He get hit with the Holy Spirit. Ah. I'm like, Pops, you straight? <laughs> oh, my God. He's shaking. So we get home. Now he want to read the Bible every day. 
I'm like, dang, Pop's really reading the Bible. Now, we used to go hoop every weekend, so I ain't had to go to church. Yeah. So then my dad was like, nah, you ain't hooping on Sundays no more. <laughs> like, what? Damn. So my older sister, Thundra, was like, she hated going to church. So she like, hey, take a super long shower so your mama could be late and she will just leave us. So I'm like, all right. So the first Sunday we did it, my mama came in there and snatched me out the bathroom. We go to church anyway. The next Sunday, Thunder take a crazy long shower. I'm talking about damn near like 45 minutes. <laughs> so I'm hate banging on the door like, mama going to kill me. Mama going to kill me. She was like, I'll let you rush wrestling the whole day if you just turn on the water and stand there. Man, I turned on the water and stood in that motherfucker for about 45 minutes. Oh, my God. My mama came with that belt. <laughs> Nigga, she threw me in the shower. Whoop my ass. Threw me out and said, when I come back, I'm whooping your ass again. Damn. I still ain't gave Thunder nothing for that. She ain't got a <laughs> gift. All she ain't got a birthday. <laughs> All cuz Mr. T turned from Joe Jackson to T.D. Jakes. <laughs> in the matter of a ceremony. I swear to God. That nigga, he came back, bro. He wouldn't even read the traditional Bible. He was reading the kid's Bible. He said, I need oh, to he was playing. <laughs> He said, I need to understand. It's a true story. I need to see everything. I need to understand because I can't. Some of these ties and thighs and these and days. He was like, oh, I need all this. He said, break it down. Yeah, I need to break this down. the kids book? That nigga was reading uh, Goosebumps all the time. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I'm for real, bro. It's a true story. I'm talking about Pops. He out of pocket. See, you disrespect the coach. He's trying to see. That's the real reason. Look. We share family testimony. He just took his journey. <laughs> he done bought a pink. <laughs> bro, it was one of the. It was that the motherfucker pic- had 12 pages of <laughs> it. It's the picture one, man. <laughs> oh, shit. The picture one? I swear to God. The picture one? I put that on there. Ask my mama. It was a pimp by his bed, too. You read that part every night. I'm on his ass when I see him. <laughs> He had that Joe Orsteen boy. <laughs> he was like reading it like, yeah, I got to figure out what they talk about, man. I was like, what? That motherfucker, the red Dr. Seuss. <laughs> oh, dog. Talking yeah. about he read a picture book talking about the Lord. I promise you, bro, because he, he couldn't understand the man. Bible. Well, he could He was like, bro, this is too much. He ain't go to church at all. So you got you got to think my dad ain't go to church at all. Oh, he went one time. He was tapped in. with that zap. I'm glad he picked that pill back up again. <laughs> He probably read something of that motherfucker that wasn't for him. He like, oh no, they bullshit. Oh yeah, we went back to hooping quick. It was about a good three week span. We was back in the gym. What? Hey, you tournaments everything. Hey, I think man. he made a league on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> He's still running to this day. <laughs> to this day at the factory. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> wow. That's funny as shit. Look, dude, she disrespected the team family journey, bro, in the church. I love it, man. <laughs> I'm still laughing. He said she took you and threw you in the shower. <laughs> man. That's crazy. Thing. <laughs> I'm still mad at Thunder about that. Well, the team family got some shit, boy. Man, shout out to their adopted cousin, God too. Shout out to God. We got to get my nigga on the show. Man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your first shout out is the sickest one on this show. Man, that dude crazy. Uh-huh. What's oh, next, man? Bro? Oh, so on some random shit. Uh, before we get out of here, a little bit of sports talk. We ain't about to get into predictions or anything like that, but like. For you, you know what I'm saying, average, you play at a high level, professional level. During this time period, like, what is the hardest thing for you to do, like, in season to prepare to, like, close out the season? Because you got the teams now, it's like, all right, niggas already know. Either we tanking, you know what I'm saying, we about to go to the playoffs, or I'm trying to get this bread. If you at that all-star break like we are right now, and your mom said, if you want a fire team, you trying to get ready for the postseason, or if shit's spooky, you like, all right, shit, we'll be on the offseason because – I got about two more months of this bullshit, and I'm out. Yeah, I've been on both sides. So, if you're on a good team right now, y'all locking in. Y'all about to go on vacation. When y'all come back, y'all going to be locked in. Y'all trying to go on a little win streak. Uh, if you're on a bad team like I was in Minnesota, <laughs> I was looking for surgeries. Like, what I need to get cleaned up. Mm-hmm. It's time to sit out. Let the young boys play. That's really it. Like, don't nobody care when you're on a bad team. I think that's starting to get publicized a lot more now, and I wanted to lean into that. Like people are kind of see like what, how organizations run, because like I looked at some of the Pacer shit, and Carlisle basically came out and said like, "Yeah, we on that tank shit. Like we ain't fuck with y'all talking about these rotations. We we trying to get what we trying to get." Yeah. And these fans be like, "Why are we doing this?" I'm like, "Do y'all not understand, nigga? It's about this it's about season's over, nigga. Yeah, season over for the Pacers. Time, it's over for the Pacers. Say. Shit for a lot of teams, but yeah, definitely yeah, for them. Yeah. They gonna let a little young boy." Uh, Halliburton rock out and Yeah Matherin Try to get another High pick Man let Halliburton play Till after the All-Star game And sit his ass Fuck down Shut everybody down After All-Star break yeah. I've been a, Always been a proponent of that. I don't give a shit We cool with our young talent 
Everybody sit the fuck down. I don't care what it looked like. Tanking is real. And I don't know why they try to act like that shit ain't important because that's the only way you're getting better, especially when they trade motherfuckers for five second round picks. It really ain't gonna get better like that, though. You don't think so? Nah, draft picks don't really make you nice. That's why they're giving up so many picks for veteran players. Damn. Like, it ain't really no. Unless Talent. you about to get the number one or two pick. Like, like who who was the number one pick last year? Shit. Um, Ventura. He hard. So you a tank. I mean, but like. K Cunningham cool. He gonna be good, but he was the number one pick that you ain't really yeah. You know what I mean? Like he ain't really moved a needle for Detroit. So you ain't gonna really get hard in the draft. You gotta like you gonna have to pay somebody. What do you think as far as both of y'all standpoints on this? And I ain't gonna get too nerdy about it, but what do you think is the easiest way to rebuild a team? Either through paying for money or is it through draft picks? Or is it having a good front office? Paying. You gotta pay. Look, look at the Suns. <laughs> they got Chris. They was trash. They got Rubio on them. Pay Rubio. Facts. They had D Book. Was the only draft pick they had that was good. They get Rubio, and they get lucky and get eight. Yeah. Cool. They shouldn't even have eight. They should have got Luca, but that's a different conversation. That's different. Look now, all of a sudden they elite now. They give all their assets up. Get KD. <laughs> got Chris Paul. Now they legitimate contender. It's all about your finesse game for real. I think that front office matters way more than people give credit. Like, we've always obviously known that. But you start to see it more public. Them GMs who are out here standing on shit, fuck it, bro. If we get a championship once in 10 years, that's cool. Because a lot of niggas don't win, period. Yeah, you can problem. rebuild for a whole another nine years. I don't give a shit. But if you ain't getting to it like that, you might as well. Fuck them. Like that old boy said from uh, last year with the Rams. Fuck them draft picks. We got a Super Bowl. We got banners up. Them picks don't mean a damn thing. We halfway through. Who y'all got for the MVP? <clears throat> shit. If you I, had a pick, it ain't I no. Don't, I don't want to say it, but uh, it's say looking it. like it looked like a three peat. Yeah, looking like Jokic. The Jokic might be at that three peat because they Man, had number Jokic. one seed, bro, and he uh, killing. And can't yeah. nobody say shit about it. Nah, that's probably gonna be Jokic for a third time. That's hard. That's so that means he probably the best center ever. Oh, what the fuck? You went three in a row. He's top off for sure. All yeah. right, so how, how does this basketball shit work? <laughs> maybe because maybe I'm disconnected because. You just said that this nigga's the best center ever if he wins. Three he MVPs in a row? But I thought y'all say it matters if you win. Y'all put niggas on pedestals because uh, nah, they I don't, win. I don't do that. That take a team to win. Like, I don't do that. Like, so oh, Jokic, you got so, championships. Because, nigga, if you play with – if he had goddamn Kobe Bryant on his team, they yeah. probably would win the championship. So, Jokic, <laughs> like, Jokic is better than Shaq and Akeem Olajuwon. No, nah, I'm not saying. I'm saying if he keep going, I mean he's only what twenty seven. Yeah, 20? okay. But if he keep going, yeah, a three peat is cold, especially when they all justify too. And it ain't like he got bums in the league. Like, no, nah, he doing his thing. I fuck with you. No, nah, I'm just saying it's like a lot of people that could be like Giannis. Like it's it's way more superstars now than it was when Shaq and Halajuan all them was going for their MVP runs. Like you mm. knew who was gonna be in the race. It's gonna be Shaq. Kobe, Olajuwon, if you even when Mike was still there, Carl Malone, kind of <laughs> like that was it. Hey, speaking of Carl Malone, NBA wild as fuck for having him in that dunk contest, Judge. Why, bro? Because he's a piece of shit. You still doing they, that? I, they everybody should, is, bro. No, they, I mean, they should have been killed him. It kind of is what it is now. Bro, them, <laughs> that's should have cr- got the chair, bro. The Isaiah Thomas getting that job at Phoenix is crazy, too. And niggas not talking about that. I fuck with Zeke. But bro, the last time you was in the office, bro, allegations. All right, so let oh, that be allegations. <laughs> yeah, shout to James. <laughs> That's so fire. so let that be that <laughs> nah, re- relationships that's fire. are worth more. Yeah, everybody gets allegations, man. <laughs> yeah, See, and DJ, he is a fuck the bottom of the bottom. He's a piece of shit. I might be. So if he does something, he gonna want somebody to forgive his raggedy ass too. I'm calling out like R. Kelly with a gospel I song. For, and I wish I'm I would say something. I'm not forgiving Carl Malone, but I'm just telling you how that shit works. Fuck Carl Malone. In the NBA definitely fucking, but I'm saying he got the job, bro. It's kind of like they don't care, bro. And that, but he has no. He ain't never won a dunk contest. He ain't never participated in a dunk contest. <laughs> yeah, Utah, bro. Bro. He got one of the weakest dunkers ever. That's been gassed the shit behind his head, bro. So they ain't calling John Stockton because of the COVID shit. That's, that's a crazy. Relationship, bro. They standing harder on John Stockton talking about niggas in the COVID shot than Carl Malone Wilder. The fact that you even know he's a judge is crazy. I seen it. I said this is nasty. I don't yeah, want to see this shit. Nah. Defund the dunk contest too. Y'all keep trying. Hey, 
Y'all pulling up niggas from the D League to do a dunk contest is crazy. I think they should. I think they need to be pulling yeah, up the them uh, yeah. Instagram dunkers too. Yeah, I'm something. Yeah, Go get them something. niggas. Yeah, the Instagram niggas is cold. Holler at them. Yeah, yeah, I but, feel like there's some niggas in G League that got dummy bounce. Oh, mm-hmm. for sure. Like that. Like DJ Stevens is somebody who's been in a dunk contest every year. I don't care if he was in the G League or feel it or not. That nigga had the craziest bounce in the world. But yeah. I just thought that shit was nuts. But like you said, the um, when you look at players and how y'all like view people, and then how you see how the media views people and their fans, it never coincides all together. That championship shit is literally for propaganda for niggas to talk on TV every single day. Because yeah. like you said, bro. If I played with LeBron for 10 years, I'm sure I had a chance to get a ring. If yes, I didn't play fact. with three or four generation talents, you probably don't have a chance to get one any fucking way. Yeah. But you still cold. Yeah, you still cold. Like, James Harden still cold. Yeah, and James Harden. Hey, what do we... Westbrook still cold. Talk about it. Uh, talk no, about I, it. All them still cold. So you want to have no Westbrook so bad? <laughs> nah. James Harden, the third best shooting guard of all time, too. I'm saying that, and I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> You think he's he the third? James Harden is what? Yo, nah, he behind D Wade, but he's better than Iverson. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care that y'all used to wear the French braids to Iverson. Y'all had the wristbands and the finger sleeves. James Harden is better than Allen Iverson in basketball. I'm not going. I am. Oh. What that Philly team gonna do with that Houston team? I'm not going. What are they doing? They beat them. They beat the shit out of them. Philly uh, will lose to. Oh, y'all, you all right with that? Yeah, Nick, with CP, with the the Houston team that almost makes it to the finals. Yeah. Hell yeah, CP, James Harden, Eric Gordon, them they beat Matt Geiger and them niggas. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was yeah. You you going Iverson and them? I'm rolling with Iverson. Hell no. Shout out to my nigga Phil. Eric Collins. Snow couldn't even. They were scoring 88 points a game, bro. <laughs> Good D. But talking about one of the most gas Bay players of all time. I ain't gonna say that. I, I, me defund them Georgetown niggas. Except defund Iverson. you. He was one of the best defensive stoppers in the league. That, that finger wag shit. Yeah. yeah. And what happened when he gets switched on that screen with James Harden? Nigga gonna be waving that fucking kneecap across the floor. Bro, yeah, everybody get boomed on, bro. <laughs> Dikembe, I'm not. I, mean, I know I don't like vouching for the old niggas, but Dikembe Mutombo was decent, bro. Aaron McKee was decent, bro. <laughs> Aaron McKee get a shot out six minutes of the year. Aaron McKee was good, but nah, he was. Bro. He who? Killing his ass. I'm I'm nothing. Nothing. I don't know if he's killing Aaron McKee. Aaron I'm nothing. Was good. He was real good. I played him one on one. He wait, what? He, I'm nothing. Like, in my draft Gordon process, killing he worked Aaron for the McKee. Sixers. I played him one on one. He was killing me. Damn, for real? Fucking, <laughs> fucking me up. Oh, that's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying, baby. That's why I wouldn't say that about oh, Aaron McKee. I like oh, Aaron McKee. Yeah, too. DJ's on one, bro. They, that would be a good game, bro. But he would tell us Eric Snow was going crazy on him in the draft process. <laughs> no, not Eric Snow. Aaron McKee. Eric, Eric, Eric Snow. Nah, fuck that. I ain't getting killed by Eric Snow. But. <laughs> Y'all niggas is crazy. But he not. Eric shout out to my nigga Theo Ratliff. See, look who you shouting out, bro. Theo Ratliff was <laughs> like, nah, I really made him cool as fuck. Oh, okay. That's cool. Nah, I fucked with him. Man, he, he's a good defensive player, too. He was. They were more talented. CP and them, of course, more talented. But on some team shit, bro, they used to smack shit. Where Iverson, bro, he's unguardable. Who was guarding James Harden on that team? Who was guarding Iverson on that team? Who was guarding CP? Uh, himself. Nah, see, look, we named him more. We made him more weapons. Himself, bro. They used to beat niggas with quality players, bro. I'm nothing. They made it to the finals, bro. I don't even know who they beat. They beat Vince Carter. Vince Carter team was ass. <laughs> they beat Mo Pete. <laughs> they beat Vince Carter. Shout out to Mo Pete. Vince Carter team was terrible. Yeah. Uh, that was a Raptors team with, what, without Team Mac, right? They beat the yeah. Pacers, too. <laughs> and shit. Terrible. <laughs> yeah. Talk nah, about I'm it. Nothing, bro. <laughs> Terrible. I'm, a, I'm nothing, bro. That Patriots team is better than that Houston team. Man, well, no. I'm not. I'm not. A, this is coming from me, y'all. Y'all know better. After no, I just heard Joe, that's a lie. That Houston team was trash, bro. What? That Houston Damn. team was trash, bro. Nah, they had a good team, bro. They fumbled the bag, bro. They lost to the Warriors. One CP, of the- CP's a cancer. Why didn't that? <laughs> why that Clippers team never won? Oh, I'm always here for CP slander. So. Fire whips. Y'all keep talking about fire whips. They were never supposed to lose, bro. You had everything, nigga, one through eight. I agree. Eight man team, bro. You See, had a shooter. They lost because CP sprint, uh, pulled his hamstring. Okay. Yeah. We can talk about something now. <laughs> they did. He pulled his hamstring. Right. But I had a debate in my head the other day. Mm. And we was talking about, you know, we did the thing with Josh and we was talking about Atlanta rappers and stuff. Like, yeah. Who you like more, T.I. or Jeezy? Ah, uh, that's tough. I went to a Jeezy concert recently and. Heard it was in the air. Man, he, he got 40 songs that is fire. Yeah, oh, bro. yeah, for sure. Do T.I. got 40 songs? Fuck no. Nah. T.I. is, as y'all say, numbers bigger. 
impact on how music touches you. Jeezy, bro. Agree, but T.I. make trap music. You think T.I. got bigger numbers than Jeezy? Hell yeah. Yeah, some of the records he got is bigger than Jeezy. Bigger than Soul Survivor? Hey, oh, hell, that's all Jeezy got. You think it's bigger than Soul Survivor? I ain't saying that, but I'm telling you his catalog is. But he got those crossover songs. Bro, yes, bro. T.I. got way bigger songs than Jeezy, bro. Yeah, Impactful wise, of course not. I'm rolling with Jeezy. What's the uh, biggest song? Shit, probably the Rihanna uh, song. Yeah, bro, that's that's a big ass record. Live your life. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a crossover. He got, record. But he that's, got shit like that. You think it's I'm, bigger bigger than Soul Survivor though? Absolutely. Yeah. Wait, hey, that song was so big. Yeah, and that I put on for my city. No, that's my that's shit. huge. That's a big ass song, bro. But Ti Ti, like bro said though, he got crossover records. That I'm cross- picking Jeezy all day. Though. Yeah, I mean, but I'm trying to figure out what Jeezy's closing my show. Jeezy got. Two of the best whole verses ever. But I'm saying, I'm, and I know this for a fact. When they go on tour, Ti closes the show. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know this for a fact. Oh, uh, they went on tour together. Yeah, Ti's a better. <laughs> I swear to God, Ti closed, and I went two different years, and I promise Ti closed the show. Ti's a better. What performer. year was this? This was 2016 and 2017 in Cincinnati, and I want to say like 2014 in Miami. Mm. That's tough. Yeah. Yeah. That's a toss up. I mean, shit. If you're going by catalogs, I think it's close. If you're going by impact, I think it's really close there too. I don't think T.I. has an album touching thug motivation. Fuck no. Not I even agree, close. bro. Yeah, I don't think nothing is as good as that, but I think underneath that, <clears throat> Urban Legend is fire. I was going to say, if you go underneath bro. that, the next two albums might be Urban Legend and Trap Music. And also, T.I. put out fucking King on the same weekend that he put out ATL. That's elite. Yeah. Because Jeezy got a lot of shit, but that's a cult. ATL is a cultural movie but in see, the black community. And why I'm picking Jeezy too? Because he got songs with Hove that go crazy. Man, what? He got, I'll say like, he got two of the best got, Hove verses. He got ever, le- legend, legendary verses, bro. That's why I don't be getting caught up in that billboard shit, bro. I swear to I God. Know, that, because Jeezy, you, he just said he just went to a concert and felt like the nigga had 40 songs. 40. Legit, me and Phil, we looked at each other, pause like, we like, yeah, yeah these is, these are slapping, bro. <laughs> and on the, yeah, and on the bro. back, the back, the that's, back, the back. But the see, back. that's why all these niggas talk about the, when him and Gucci battled each other, bro, it was the landslide. I tell you what, what how much impact you felt like Gucci man helped you sell your first bag of dope, <laughs> he ain't fucking with that nigga Jeezy, bro. And hey, also, bro. niggas forgot, the uh, Camp Band of Snowman was real. Mm. Yeah, hey, niggas was schools around the nation was banning them shirts, bro. That's a fact. That's a crazy impact. Niggas I, wasn't wearing the cool everywhere. I just yeah. like how Jeezy grown too in his raps. Like once he start rapping with Hov, like I don't know how that big was on the, the first impact. album though. That's how you got a verse yeah. Him but I'm saying you go from G, Jeezy's first album, how he was rapping to the growth nigga like, over niggas the years. Sleep on a recession. Recession was hard too. Yeah. yeah. What y'all niggas better go listen, bro. <laughs> It's, I like it, but I'm not gonna. Nigga, I'm not gonna say it was hard too. The inspiration, what? That nigga better go. The inspiration listen. is I'm better than the recession. Oh, for I'm nothing. The recession was hard, bro. Y'all better go listen, bro. The recession is fire. The recession is, but I'm just saying that wasn't one of my where I thought. He nah, was I mean going. it wasn't hard. What's the album after that? That motherfucker was hard too. That's the one with way too gone. One hundred three is probably that's got way too gone and all that shit on that album hard too. So we got Jeezy, Ti, then Gucci, right? I mean, if you're saying it like that, then are yeah. we doing like trap music in Atlanta? Yeah. Ah, nah, because Gucci you, down. Gucci. A that's down. tough. That's really kind of tough, bro. Because if you're talking about that, like, T.I. started that trap shit and to an extent. Like, he was the first who kind of put that out there. So I can't really not say that. No, he said the word. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He didn't say the. He, he wasn't that making the music he first. Trap or die. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I, I'm rolling. We're going down the line, too. I think. Trap or die is better than trap music. <laughs> his, sure. his mixtape is better than <laughs> trap music. Facts. Yeah. Like, no, nah, it's, it's not close, bro. Jeezy damn near got, he damn near, yeah. fuck it, he almost top six in the rap ever, bro. He's up there, top bro. Top 10. Top he, 10. He's up there. Yeah. I got Jeezy. I, uh, so I run off my shit. Fuck it. Give me Jeezy, Future, T.I., Gucci, Chains. You got two chains kind of high. I got him five. That's a lot. I fuck with, uh, t- I fuck with Chains stuff. Uh, I got Jeezy, Future, Tip, Thugger, 
than Gucci. Yeah, even I was though Gucci put all these niggas on, but like I oh, was doing young niggas too. My bad. I ain't gonna oh, redo my. I was list. just saying. Oh, I, I respect that. I ain't gonna redo my. Having thugging that is important. I was gonna say I, I'm kind of similar both of y'all. Yeah, I would have threw baby in there too, but it's cool. My list Ooh. is. My, I'm staying with my list. You right, baby. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm saying. I didn't know why we was going. All right, we putting everybody in there. It go, Jeezy, little baby. Damn, future. Oh, like Jeezy, Jeezy, future, little baby. I don't know what order. I don't know what I can put them in there, but if we doing that, if we doing young niggas too, I have to throw the Migos in there. Man, good night. Yeah. Every fucking episode yeah, I put the Migos the in there. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> what is this nigga talking about? We're acting like I didn't listen to Migos. We Never did. What now? Wait, what? Talking about, talking about. You didn't no, listen to Migos? We ain't stopping this no. shit. Name, give us your five. This nigga told me I got to name the Migos. I'll put it in the bottom five. I didn't For sure. listen to Migos. <laughs> Wait, you ain't, you ain't listen to Migos at all? I fuck with the Migos, but we just talked about iconic niggas. I mean, that was important. I'm talking about to that scene. Yeah, they was. You ain't niggas. never fucking walking like you talking, nigga. <laughs> that was your is, shit. I know they songs, but I ain't yeah, never thought. Like I, I, I bought Quavo shit before I bought the like. I listened to Quavo. I uh-huh. take off was my favorite. Yeah, but I listened to like. Ne- Neff, uh, <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I don't mean to cut you off, bro. But this nigga, he's for to say Migos. Yeah, Migos. Fuck Roscoe up. Dash. <laughs> RP. He's still around. <laughs> I used to fuck with Roscoe well, Dash. Boy, right, time out. No, 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 no. Say young Roscoe Joe. Dash was harder than Migos. <laughs> At one point, he was, bro. That all the way turned up and all that shit. All right, y'all. It was hard. <laughs> <bro. laughs> Go crazy. Go crazy. He was killing Jeff, bro. Jeff. What? Stop it. <laughs> Stop you it! You were in the club all the way turned up. <laughs> you were there. You had to be that there. That bitch come up. That motherfucker was all the way turned up. up. That shit was different, wasn't it? Different. That shit was different. Like, I ain't Bro, walking like I talk. Roscoe Dash is the truth. Oh, no, y'all niggas rocking for Roscoe Oh, my mama. <laughs> baby. Everywhere I go <laughs> out. Hey, they got to show out. Oh, oh that bro, shit was going crazy. crazy. What was, uh, what was the, uh, the niggas before the Migos, too? <laughs> Uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about. I know you're talking about Dale Lando. Yeah, uh, that was their name. Buck help us out. <laughs> Who are you talking Man, about? They had, they had a group name. It was like Travis uh, Travis Porter. Travis, Travis Porter. Porter. Yeah. Oh, no. Travis Porter was the plug. Yeah. Yeah, they had it cracking. So I would rather you say this. I fuck with the Migos. Don't get me wrong. Big, big iconic group. But we're talking about. You're not about to sit here and say big iconic group and then say Roscoe Dash, fam. That's crazy. Bro, he was very impactful. <laughs> bro, his <laughs> little era, that little two and years. That year was year. before Instagram, nigga. Yeah. If Roscoe Dash would have had it on my mama, bro, he'd be big as Jeremiah. I swear to God, bro. Yeah, he'd be huge. Huge, bro. Because that all the way turned up, bro. <laughs> that shit was a huge DJ, song, DJ, bro. we naming Chains, Gucci. Just, I said the Migos. I can't <laughs> leave my list out without naming the Migos. For sure. I ain't hating on the Migos, but we I ain't not. But it's just like, they. I was... I wasn't listening to that. Bro, Damn. give you a five, DJ. My our bad. <laughs> when, they came out, when they came out, J. Cole and shit was out. Like so I wasn't listening to the <laughs> nigga. Keep it real. You about to disrespect. I'm not J- get your shit up, DJ. We out of pocket for not letting you get your turn. Oh no, I mean I don't care. I definitely put G Z T I in the, up there high. Uh, if we going all time in Atlanta, I gotta say outcast unless we don't do groups. I was saying it's trap. Oh, this bro. trap shit? Yeah. Oh, well, nigga, I didn't know that. Hey. It's all around the world, ass nigga. <laughs> just, just. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were talking about trap. I ain't want to listen to speaker knockers and shit. No, RP. <laughs> Go ahead, get your shit off, bro. We hey, got Outcast, Migos. Um, T.I., Jeezy, okay. Outcast. Future, even though I ain't the biggest fan of Future, I got to put Future in there. It's, you can't deny the impact. Yeah. I'll probably have to go Migos at that five spot, bro, because Migos had to crack it for a long time, bro. <laughs> All right, and with that being said, <laughs> yeah, you might as well throw 21 either. Savage in there, too. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> let's keep it going. Trinidad James. <laughs> <laughs> he had the biggest Shout song. Shout out to you. Night. I swear to God, the first time I heard that song, bro. I'll go there. They say. replayed it 22 times. You almost booked him for a party. Well, my mama did. It would have been turned, too. Damn. You know, it was another nigga that came out. You could have got him and Roscoe Dash together for probably $25. Man, he out of pocket. <laughs> hey, who that nigga used to survive for our, on our deleted episodes, Mims? <laughs> <laughs> That's his guy, Mims. Shoot out. Hey, shout out to my nigga, man. Give a <laughs> shout got, out to hey, my nigga. Mim, he showed you so you, much love. They try to say Mims was broke. No, he's not. Bro. I ain't never they talking about that nigga Pockets. They try to say he had a CEO. Mims was not having CEO. I ain't never talking about that nigga Pockets. I'm just saying. your bankroll. <laughs> Nah, he just was gassing your legacy. Yeah, I said you still doing shows right now. Okay, we, we just say you work overnight, bro. We respect your nine yeah, to five, said you bro. You had a CD so DJ up, in your pockets, bro. I'm yeah. just saying, ain't nobody calling you saying pull up. Ain't nothing wrong with Man, he, he's doing bar mitzvahs as we speak. Bro. <laughs> he's doing bar bar tours. 
Kilroy's <laughs> brothers. He still let Music Monday. Respect. Damn sure. Yeah, yeah, got him. <laughs> fuck that. He got a, a quadruple platinum record. Sunset <laughs> on a Tuesday. If I go on Sunset and see Mills, I'm really leaving. <laughs> They disrespectful. Saucy bro. wings and bro, bro. Bro. Come bro, on the bro. show and pop your shit, man. Cause they got you fucked. We up. got your bus fare film. Yeah, they got you, man. <laughs> now, are we? You got that's your man. <laughs> they taking privates, man. Oh, no private. Show, man. We ain't in that man pockets. Fuck it. Shout out to Bill. No, me still getting fifteen thousand a show. Mims or Roscoe? That minimal. Roscoe that. <laughs> okay, I was making sure. Roscoe that. Hold on, Mims is. This is why I'm hot. Yes. yes. <laughs> That song was big, bro. It probably was on a Super Bowl commercial. That probably- was not fucking with all the way. Turned up. So you not fucking playing. This is why I want it. Nigga, that show on the Super Bowl commercial right now. <laughs> hey, y'all see Tubi get the Super Bowl commercial? <laughs> why would they ever give them a Super Bowl? Shout out to Tubi. Man. Get this bread. Y'all retarded, man. We out. Oh, man. Like you said, we out. Like, share, subscribe. All that good shit. We'll fuck with y'all next week. Oh, that's funny.